Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Danganronpa V3. Today we're gonna go up the stairs and I believe talk to Shimugi and Gonta. That an exclamation point, so they gotta have something. Oh, it's automatic. Nuts. Ugh. Ugh. Nuts. Hey. What are you doing here? That's. Oh, goodbye. Monokuma stared at me in silence, then disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um... I suppose he wants me to follow him? What could be down there? Hi. What's up? What on earth is this academy for gifted juveniles? You literally say nothing new? Do you not see patches there? Alright, no, sure, that's fine, whatever. Oh, this thing? Hi. That's... Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me and the picture in the wall. Uh, um... Hmm, this picture? Huh. I see, it's not a canvas, it's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps. Maybe I could use that item I haven't used yet on this. Alright, All right, it's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. Oh, there goes our weapon upgrades. A TV? I knew it. Ah, just as I thought. There's a hidden passage here. That's. Thanks, Monokuma. I don't know what he's up to, but this did really help us out, I guess. The passageways look passageway looked different than the haunted house, more like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. Yeah, what's with all the monitors? Nothing? Alright. Oh, what's that say? Computer room. Oh, it's an Xbox! It's a giant machine! I've never seen this before. What could this... If you've come this far, that means you solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah. It was just me. Huh? What teamwork? It's just Suichi. Well, that puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true that what they say, the serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I am certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Dots. So? Oh yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room? Ah. But this but this computer isn't some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is like super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already gotten the plan. Aww. You probably said why, way too much. Sorry. I knew it. Oh shit, you next. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try and remember what you can and can't say. So, so, sorry, dog. Why didn't you help him, Monofi? Oh no, are you next, Monofini? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? Why didn't you? I cannot forgive that. Your friends, right? So why didn't you help him? <laughs> um, well, I will not if you can't that. get along, you will be punished. You too, Mono Taro. Taro, 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 whatever. Friends share everything, even punishment. Yeah. I don't think that's the case. What? Backfire? You're so so long. Long. Yo, You're just wrong. take a magnet and just like <laughs> rub it on the side of his head. To be fair. You guys are evil, so I don't really care if you die, but stand up for yourselves. This machine can't, can make a new world. What are they talking about? I'm not good with computers. I think I un I'd understand it no I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. Uh, ooh, there's a chest. I wonder what that could be. But that's the only thing to investigate here, huh? The giant Xbox, huh? I guess it's like an X-Cube. 
The giant green computer in the middle of the room. The machine can make a new world. What does that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. Alright, treasure chest. Ah, treasure chest. I opened the chest eagerly and... I found one flashback light. With this, I can find out what this place is and why we're here. Are we going to use it by ourselves? <laughs> oh, you found the flashback light. Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't agree with that. All right. I'll get the others. The, you just bring uh, bring that to the dining hall, Suichi. Okay. Well, I'm off. See ya. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left, waving goodbye. Just use it on yourself. Screw him. Use it on yourself, Suichi. You'll have an advantage. Yeah, I guess we'll leave. We're going to the dining hall, right? All right, into the dining hall. Figured I'd walk all the way back, get that delicious experience. Really? Suichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yeah, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kukichi wasn't lying? I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank see, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually. I want to ta start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaido isn't here yet. Oh. Maki not here either. Oh, oh. right. No, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? You didn't invite her? Forget about the killer. Hey, Mew, Kibo, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Hmm, go on. Hey. Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it. My apologies. I'm sorry, I am not very good, uh, not very computer savvy. What? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. I've been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well... Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh, yes. I've been pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say myself. So, Don't myself. Keyboy's existence is the only only thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me! I just told you I am good at one-man comedy shows. Hmm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> but I'm not gonna come just for some computer. I'm gonna take away. I'm gonna take way more. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, um, uh, well, the model Cubs did say it was amazing. Yo. Oh, hey, thanks for waiting. Ah, uh. Kaido and dots. Huh? Ma Mackie, why is Mackie with you? Of course. Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, right? <laughs> I agree. But when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on. Man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kato gripped Mackie's arm before she could leave. By the way, Kato, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so. I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. You have not been paying attention to like the Dang and Rampa series, apparently. Dots. Um. Is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Mackie? Have you killed anyone before? Dots. Okay. Yes. Really? But... Oh, why you hide that? Why do you think, Gonta? <sighs> it's obvious. It's, it's so she couldn't could kill us before we figure out our identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because... When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, they, that fear will turn to hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... That's not... No, that's actually smart. Yeah, you're right. That's the point. Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Always? Hmm. So you pretty... You lived a pretty sad life, Mackie. That's so mean. Oh, our poor, poor Mackie. I feel so sorry for you. I think about the cry. Oh, I see. Well, because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is, it, is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to. Oh. Hey, can you let go of me now? Mm -hmm. uh, oh! And Mackie finally let go of her arm, and Mackie let out a sigh. Okay. Or Kaido let go of her arm. I knew you wouldn't believe me, so I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Oh, but someone who doesn't know how to mind his own business kept dragging me back, uh, dragging oh. me places. Uh, are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you, unless one of you tries to kill me first. 
Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So you guys mind your own business, I'll mind mine. And we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please just pretend I'm not even here. Uh, flashback! Mackie? I started out, it started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. Dots. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaido, what were you thinking? Are you turning, trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say you're all, we're all disappointing you, right guys? No. No, I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback light, yes? Everyone! Yes, so, have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course! We might be able to remember something new! Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt? No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit! Of course it's got something to do with why we're here! Hey! Instead of arguing, why don't we just... Uh, wouldn't it be, it'd be faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah, gone to worry, but we gotta do it. What? But, but, no matter what you remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you think like that, uh -oh. we will be, we'll just be repeating ourselves. Are you kidding me? I, I know that! We can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do it. Then let's give it a try. Suichi, go for it. Flash back like Mackie, though. Mackie? She's not gonna get the flashback light? That seems kind of... Actually... Rude on our part, I guess, but I guess if she doesn't want it. I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain ner nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me and I flicked the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, the world warped. Yeah, family, friends? Yeah, we don't have any. Wait, are those your eyes? Oh, I kind of thought they were a certain female's eyes. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They oh, were hey. so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. Ah, what was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here's. Huh? Why? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Suichi. I see. It would appear we all remember the same thing. The fuck's going on? What does that? What the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? What the hell's going on? What was that funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember seeing is that funeral, nothing else. No way! Maybe we already dead! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Oh shit, if this is purgatory. <laughs> the shitty purgatory. Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our uh, that was our memory of our funeral. Then, then what was it? I mean, it was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, it obviously it isn't it obvious if you just think about it. Of course. A funeral if the funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Um. <laughs> but aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's that's uh, we'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clear. Uh, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness. Oh, good. Gone to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. It's gone to, dude. Look at me. I'm alive. Hale and Hardy. Oh no. <laughs> Hardy, <laughs> cause you get a hard on every time you see me. Oh yeah. I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? No. Maybe. Maybe no. It's just something that happened. Tanko, shush! What? You too, Mew. Hey, hey, stay in your lane, bitch! <laughs> I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. Dots? Ah, oh, man, what a disappointment. Huh? Disappointment? Mm -hmm. eh, it's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. 
We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously, talk about a disappointment. Nuh uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory, I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said that in any, said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Free time or night time? There's no music, so maybe night time. I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. It's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hit. That would help, but... I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have time left today. Maybe I'll head out and clear my head. Free, free time. All right. So, I guess... Well... Let's see. So the two people that I want to hang out with are Xenoblade Girl and Kyle. I think, to spice it up a little bit, we'll uh, we'll hang out with Kyle. You hate air conditioning? Dog. You're 6'2", too. too. That's impressive. Uh, but you hate air conditioning? What the heck? Why? It's the best thing. Ever! Where are you anyways? I could go around and slap stuff. I could probably go spend some money at the, uh, the shop. Um... Where are you? You're in your lab? You are in your lab, so I get... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I'll go there, but then I backed out. Hmm... What are you gonna like? Probably something old, right? Historical? I should probably say, if, just in case, I'm I'm bad. And it takes me a while to figure out what people want in this game. But that's whatever, it's fine. It's like real life. You don't know what sort of bribes you're gonna be able to pull off on some people. All right, dog, come here. I could probably from an anthropological point of view. Spend some time looking for some hidden monokumas as well. Any seances cage child? Sure, let's hang out with Guile. <laughs> Do you wish to speak with the dead as well? No. Maybe one of the dead. I listen to Kyle talk endlessly about seances. We grew closer. Who would have thought? Should I give him a gift? Definitely. What though? <laughs> I'm actually having a real hard time trying to think of anything. I, I might try Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail. Not because I think Kyle might like cocktails, but because the name Cleopatra's in it. Um, another one would probably be Cufflinks. Maybe. It seems like something he would like. I have no goddamn idea. Maybe this black jacket as well. I think it says chair coat uniform. I yeah, I don't know. Like I, this, I'm. I was looking for things that were like something reminiscent of some sort of like history or like art mannequin, maybe. But I don't know. Monkey's paw? No. Yeah, no. You actually have to like monkey's paw. There's like no way. Yeah. Incredible. Oh, sweet. Okay, great. I have five of those, too. So guess how many monkey pauses you're going to get. This Soichi well enough to do find such a thing. I bought it. Well, I kind of gambled for it at the Wonderful. little Polinko machine. Not Polinko, but the ball machine. I never dreamed of encountering such a splendid item. Oh, well. You're going to have that same dream five times in a row. Is that all right? Cal, what's the difference between anthropology and... History and archaeology. <laughs> they are often confused, so your question is reasonable. To that question, they are diff they are different. Maybe a possible answer. Let's see. History is rec records. Archaeology is buildings and relics. Anthropology is folklore and customs. Actually, don't think I really knew that. <laughs> I knew there was a difference between archaeology 
in like anthropology, yes, but I didn't know it was based on like folklore and stuff like that. History studies events and changes in countries and or regions across time. Anthropology traces the course of the humanity through physical remains. Anthropology is a study that examines the thought behind traditions and customs. Uh, um, huh. I kind of understand, but I kind of don't. Anthropology is. If you think of humanity at uh, at the core of anthropology, it should be clear. From from people come come feelings. Those feelings intersect and become tradition. At least that's my stance on the matter. Hmm. The feelings intersect. Yes. Yes, customs and folk tales only occur in places where people can share them. Sorry. Sorry, I'm not very familiar with such things. Is that so? But you you encounter anthropology on a daily basis. For example, occult stories on the internet have their roots in folklore. Someone on a journey committing a taboo in a mountain village, for example. You're right. That's true, I hear that often. Anthropology is... Various mythologies are frequently referenced in anime, manga, and games. A character's background can be viewed through an anthropolog uh, anthropological le lens. Tools and houses in the background, jobs, speeches, clothing, and food. With the proper knowledge, such things can help you understand a work more deeply. Without it, such clues can go to waste. Hmm. That's fascinating. That knowledge would be very useful. <laughs> it seems I've piqued your, your curiosity. Let us talk more. Well then, what image does the word Kappa call to mind, Suji? Uh, like a gray face in a chat room. No, but like a little green monster that comes during rainy days when you throw something in the pond. Harvest Moon reference to Moogie, high five! No, okay, fine. A furry monster that looks like a monkey, I guess? Hmm. Furry monster that looks like a monkey? Hmm. That is somewhat surprising, it's but not completely unexpected. Listen. It is anthropological, uh, anthropologically impossible for a mental image of a cap, a cap of the match. Huh? Impossible? Yes. Originally, monsters had no form, for they were based on people's emotions. That Im that image of a kappa is the combination of many, deeples, many different people's thoughts. An ancient fear was changed over many years into a creature we can identify. Culture is constantly changing. Anthropology chases those changes. Thus, I must keep the present in mind while I learn about past customs. Tell me your thoughts. So, is it unexpectedly deep yet? Yes. Right. Yeah, profound, I guess. Woo, friendship. I learned all about the anthropology and then returned to my room. I do want to play that Harvest Noon remaster. It's like Story of Seasons now because they don't own the copyright to the name. Friends of Mineral Town. That was remastered and put on Steam and like Switch reason. I kind of want to play it. It is now 10 p.m. Betty by time? Yeah. Oh no! Girl, cover yourself. We're having a wardrobe malfunction. You bastards. You two should sleep together in one big bed. Duh. Ah. Uh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed. We could sleep in a trinkle bu triple bunk bed. Yeah. Uh, whoever's on the top of it might fall out of bed and die. I don't know if we're that close. Timer sign. Nighttime. I have training with Kaido. I haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to be doing it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. All right, sure. Let's go to the courtyard then. Get our pump on. Hi, Angie. Oh, me, oh my. Oh, Suichi, where are you going? Well, uh, nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? I... I was just talking to the others. Huh? Talking? Maybe. Since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, um... Oh, I see. Atua! Atua was, was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve the peace here. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. She'll work with everyone. I wonder what that means. Bye, Yonara. Bye. See you tomorrow. I have a bad feeling about this. Himiko's magic show was Angie's idea as well. What is she planning this time? <laughs> oh, no. If she hands me a glass of Kool-Aid, I ain't drinking it, dog. Hmm. It looks like Kato isn't here yet. Then suddenly... Yo! 
Ugh, sorry I was late. I, was, I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her? Dots. Huh? Maggie, why is Maggie here? Like I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom and got, I got so fed up I finally opened the door. Then this thing grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. Hey, we're gonna train. It's gonna be, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training, the three of us. Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. Oh, you call him stupid? Listen up. <laughs> when a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, and then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Alright! So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me- Wait, what? You know what? Sorry, my brain shut off after I read that. So you guys can be like a like super dog, cat, or horse. So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be- What the fuck does that mean, Kaido? <laughs> I don't get what that means. Like crypto? Like super, like Superman's dog? Is that what you're trying to say? Is there a horse one? I know there's a cat, like a red lantern cat. I forget his name. Yeah, I have no goddamn idea what the hell that means, but sure. Uh, um, of all the examples you could have picked, I'm right already. Do you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going back. Hold up. Hey, hold on. When I said I was the hero, that's just my from my perspective. But you know. Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. Same goes for both of you. Each of you are heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Dots. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't. So why are you being so difficult? Hey, so... How long are you gonna run away? Huh? What? Kind of brought his face close to Mackie's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I can tell just by looking at you today. So you guys, mind your own business, I'll mind mine, and we'll agree to avoid each other. Please just pretend I'm not even here. I mean... You're not the terrifying person the other the person the other people think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? What? What, my enemy? Jeez. You don't need, uh, you don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you gonna, uh, going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Yeah, you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you. You can be strong. So you can be strong. What? Dots. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maggie is getting angry. Kato is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So what are you going to do? Kaito. Hey, Kato, it's okay. You don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? <laughs> You'll do it. Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. It's not like I want to hang out with you, Baka. Huh. Uh, so you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is just give up and just keep nodding. What? <laughs> you don't get it at all. <laughs> Whatever. You just you just better get better. I, I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Hey, hey. Well, what are we doing first? Alright. Alright. First, 100 push-ups. Can you only do 20 last time? And I barely did 50, which is still impressive, don't get me wrong. Somehow, Mackie ended up joining us, and the three of us trained together. Ah, ah. Not bad. Shuichi, you're getting better. Hey, Kaido. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. We're doing 100, though. I thought we were doing 100. Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... She's the ultimate assassin. No, yeah, okay. 93, 94. I was gonna say, if she's the ultimate assassin, she's gotta be physically fit than all of us. What? That fast? Satisfied? 100, I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands and uh, totally composed. No. You, you're done already? What? Uh, you're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... B before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did a 500 push-up, so... Kato, that was the best lie you could come up with. Hey. Anyway, I'm done. And you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're doing, uh, we're doing training tomorrow, too. You better be here. Dots. We find Kaido's body tomorrow morning. Maki ignored Kaido and left without a word. Jeez. 
Why is she gonna be so difficult? Um, hey, Kata, why did you do all that? To uh, help the help her? Uh, if someone's weak, you gotta help them out. Tomorrow, teams work support for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um, weak and suffering, Maggie. That's right. You know, in a sense, you're. Uh, no, your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! N nothing. Anyways, let's just keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Uh, Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kato. Kato ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Your muscles are going to just be destroyed. So tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards into my bed. Mm. Kind of bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Dots. Kato, you really are something else. My lids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. Monodam Theater. Dots. Carious. Carious what? We mono cubs do when you're not around? I tell you, we listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in the air conditioned room, jealous. And when we all go out together, they usually make me stale. See, we're all such good friends, we're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. Oh, heroes shouldn't sleep on the job. It's pathetic. Yeah. What? The... No, it's Monokuma. Good morning! Although it's technically still night, do you feel well rested anyway? Huh? Monokuma? Yeah. Nice face, Luigi. You definitely look your best in the morning. Too bad. You can look better, though. I'm pretty picky about people's morning faces. Hmm. What are you doing here? Hi, yeah. Rude! My time is very valuable, you know. Since you fell asleep still clutching the love key, I went out of my way to come and wake you up. I really wish you were more appreciative. Uh, um, love key? You mean this thing? I wanted the keys, you know? Yeah. Yep, yep! I'll tell you how to use it! Huh? How to use it? <laughs> <laughs> that key opens the way to a very special place. A place you might have seen in the vicinity of the casino. Hint, hint. Oh right, that building. I suppose it, I should. It would have this. Yeah, it would have this kind of key. Hmm? Ah, you look like you figured it out. <laughs> Good. A healthy teenager's brain is supposed to be obsessed with sex and lust. Dots. That key you got there should help you clear out some of those carnal desires. Huh? Huh? Oh, you're starting to get worked out. Are you ready to let it all hang out? Now then, please read the instructions. It's time to talk. The time for the talk. The love key talk. This is a key that is used to unlock the, unlock the love suite. When night falls, you and another person will be invited to the love suite. There, you'll be part of that person's fantasy. They will see you as their ideal, and basically just swoon all over you. Think of it as kind of a dream that lets you escape this cruel, dark reality. That's why it's so important to play the role that person, that, that person wants you to. If you do something that breaks character, the other person will wake up in anguish. And what happens there stays there. Memories are wiped then when you exit. It's like a one-night stand within a dream. Probably best that you both forget it. Well then, that's it. Stay safe, enjoy! Dots? Mm -hmm. Ah, you seem skeptical. Why, why don't you try to try it out for yourself, huh? Go ahead, take that love key out for a spin. Dots. <laughs> then, <Forward to it. laughs> let love take hold of you. It'll make you, make you sweeter than a bear's honeypot. Oh no. Dots. I watched Monokuma bounce away, stunned. The key felt heavy in my hand. Hmm. I suppose it couldn't hurt. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Would you like to use the love key? Yeah? Oh, this is fantastic. No! <laughs> what are you here? Dots. Dots. Every time I come here, I play the role of the ideal. Let's like some shared fantasy. God damn, anyone but you. Kokichi's fantasy. I can only imagine how insane this will get. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've landed into trouble like this. Huh? Trouble? <laughs> Trapped in a place like this? That's very like you, Mr. Detective. Oh, I'm still a detective in this fantasy. Am I supposed to be chasing him? But... but I won't tell you where I hid the stolen gem. 
Torture won't work either, you know. Wait. I'm not going to torture you. What exactly do you want? Do you think a detective does? Uh... You're playing a, on tying and roughing up my body, aren't you? That's why there's that's why there's a bed, huh? Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. you get it all wrong. Why? Uh, but isn't that what happens to a phantom thief when they get caught? Huh? A phantom thief? <laughs> you know, if you're into some crazy kinks, even I won't be able to keep up. That's not true. I said you're not. You got it all wrong. Wait, wait a minute. We shouldn't be arguing. It's Kokichi's fantasy. I should calm down and play along. Why? All right, so Kikichi's a phantom thief, is he? Hey. I'm not going to do anything to you. From here on out, you're the cop's problems. If you're trying to rile me up to give yourself a chance to escape, no dice, Kokichi. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it out already? Jeez, I was willing to let you do whatever you want to me since I love you, Suichi. Wow. But, if, but wow, you even researched my name. My identity is bare and naked for your eyes to see. But... Kikichi, did you just... Call me Suichi? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're looking up your name. Uh, looking up your name was a piece of cake. So I'm not a different person here. I'm me, and Kokichi is Kokichi. I know I'm supposed to be as ideal, but even when he tells me he loves me, I can't help but think he means the opposite. <laughs> if you're not gonna do anything, then maybe I will. Before my mind even had a chance to process it, Kokichi's grin was upon me. Ugh. Oh hey. I stepped back reflectively, and I had no idea what he was capable of. Hey! God, we're about to read some fan fiction, aren't we? No need to be scared. What did you think I was going to do to you? Because... Uh, I'm simply being cautious. We aren't exactly friends, Kokichi. Are we? The whole situation is too strange for me to get my bearings. Having this kind of conversation only makes it harder to know why I'm here. Uh... Jeez, don't be so cold to me. You've been chasing after me for a long time. The stealing part doesn't excite me as much as being pursued by you, you know. Don't you feel the, feel the same, Suichi? You weren't bored. Weren't you bored? You weren't bored playing with me, were you? That's. Well, I wouldn't say. <laughs> well, I don't care what you think anyway. Because hmm. you just do as you please, don't you, Kokichi? Ah. Oh, are you mad because I toyed with you? Don't worry. I'm always thinking about you. You're always trying your best to catch me. I really have to give him my, you my. I really have to give my all the win. But. You seem to be rather enjoying this for a cornered criminal. Yeah. Because the game's not over yet. Suichi. Hey, Suichi, what would you do if I told you that I wanted you to catch me? Huh? It's true. There's a transmitter in my body, so my friends probably have this place surrounded already. <laughs> Looks like you'll have to you'll be the one getting all tied and roughed up, Suichi. Huh? That's not possible, right? It couldn't be. I was taken off guard by Kokichi's words, but then I remembered our roles. Wait! Kokichi, your lies won't work on me. Aww. Ah, you're, you're not shaking up at all? all? I thought you'd be more excited. Ooh, that's too bad. I really wanted your eyes to be on me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were voiced. I thought you didn't care about how I felt. That was a lie. You know, since I'm a liar. The ultimate liar. But when I said I wanted you to catch me, that was definitely not a lie. What do you mean? It means you can do whatever you want to me. And that's the truth. I don't think I like the Digimon Emperor saying this sort of shit to me. Come... Play with me. Let's do a lot more together. Ken, stop it. Kokichi moved towards me. For every step he took, I took one back. But my feet hit the bed. Kokichi? But Kokichi wasn't listening at all. He pushed me hard onto the bed. Kokichi, wait, wait! Dots. Just kidding. Did I get ya? What? Has this been voiced the entire time, or did it just start freaking voice acting like halfway through? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't hear anyone talking until recently. Kokichi didn't answer as he sprinted towards the exit. Kokichi, stop right there. I tried to give chase, but my knees were weak as I tumbled out of the bed. We are mortal enemies in this fantasy, but still, Kokichi couldn't be leaving. I caught myself wishing he would stay before I smothered the thought. <laughs> that was pretty fun. See ya, Shuichi. I'll think of a more exciting game for next time. So make sure you excite me, too. Alright, I'll bring rope next time. Kokichi turned his back to me uh, with a florist, then placed his hand on the door. I feel gypped on my fanfic fantasy here. Dots. 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 Love Sweet. You heard a new theme, Love Sweet. Giving it up at the Hotel Kakuma Sutra. Well... I would have liked anyone else, <laughs> but sure. Now, 8 a.m. This is an official.
official announcement. Let's oh, we're gonna go to the gym? <laughs> no, man, you really set this whole get along thing. Right. Friends is the only show he watches now. I will not forget. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you threw up on the bed. Ah. She puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. So I hear that's like a censorship thing in, uh, in like Japanese anime and shit like that, where like if you puke, it's not actually going to be puke. It'll either be blurred out or like, I guess they use rainbows and shit like that too. That's from what I was told anyways. They say anyone who sees Monofine's blue puke will, will have good luck. So long. Farewell. How can she say that puking though? What? Is it morning already? Last night with Kokichi. Was that a dream? I can't even figure out him to figure him out in my dreams. Dots. Some of the gym. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about that dream. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.